Hi, um, good afternoon. It is good afternoon. Um, so I've just come off an amazing call, well, half an hour ago, amazing call with the VIP members. And we had some super powerful um, outcomes and it was fantastic. But one of the things that came to um, the forefront was one of the members had a Facebook page. She also had a group, but she wasn't really utilizing the group very much. Um, and it became apparent it was because she didn't really know what to post in her group compared to what she was posting on her page. So I thought I'd just cover this now. Um, if you're on the call, say hi. Um, obviously, if you're watching the replay and you've got any questions, then just ask them and I'll come back and answer them for you. Um, obviously, th this is just my opinion and this is my kind of take on it and everyone else will have a different view. Um, but I see... Um, hi, Ruth, and you're very welcome and thank you for turning up. It was brilliant, wasn't it? Um, so it was really good just to see how everything turned out and the kind of the struggle that you're facing so it's good um so yeah the facebook pages i find are um the front end of your band your brand so they're kind of an extension of your website so you've got your website with your services on and your blog and your facebook page um is then an extension of that where you have the opportunity to promote your products and your services you, you kind of promote your skills support your knowledge through sharing articles sharing other people's posts and um, and just giving an insight of your experience and your knowledge and what it is that your business is all about so whilst you're looking for an element of engagement your page really i see my page as a way to showcase what it is that i do and to give advice and to give updates on things that are happening in my industry. Whereas a group is a much more personable space. Um, Anna, it is exactly, so Anna's saying it's like a shop window, isn't it, showcasing your stuff, definitely. Um, and obviously now groups are coming more and more popular because it's all about engaging with people and building relationships. Whereas I think before people relied on using email lists to build those relationships. But now I just find that groups are much more powerful. Groups are not for everybody. Um, they do take a lot of effort and a lot, of, a lot of input from you. So you have to be prepared for that if you are growing a group. Um, but a group is a place where you can be much more personable with people and grow your relationships with your soulmate clients. Um, it's a place where you can ask questions and get opinions. And on the flip side of that, it's also a place where your members can feel safe and supported and ask advice and questions that they might not want to do um, in a public forum. So we kind of, um, we touched on this in the call. Actually, we went through this quite a bit in a call with one of the members um, and her area is all about mental health. So we established that she has a page and she doesn't really use her group because she didn't know what the difference between the two of them are and what content she can share on each of them and what we discovered is um that obviously she's using her page a lot which is amazing and she's getting some really good traction off her page but in her line of work mental health people will not open easily on a public forum and they will open up much more in a group because they feel that that's a safe environment to be in so they're surrounded by people who are facing similar problems and facing similar issues so they'd be more inclined to open up and share their views and engage with you and it's so much easier to build relationships that way and in terms of a business perspective when you're building relationships and you're growing those relationships in a safe space it's then easier for you to be able to sell to. So you've already got those people loving what you're doing and you're supporting them all of the way. And then when you become to the point where you're selling something, it's easier for you to sell to them because they already know you, like you and trust you. So that's the difference that I feel is between the group um, compared to your Facebook page. So I'm just gonna read some of the comments. Anna, the call was fabulous one. 
it's fine totally honestly it's you were there and it was brilliant that the fact that you were there and you got your you, you know hopefully we've got what you need out of it but go back and watch the rest of the call because it was just super powerful in the end it was amazing um i love my group it's very small but i love it I tend to forget about my page and wonder why the group isn't growing so Ruth, I would just ask you, what are you doing to grow your group? Like, obviously, we've established that maybe you need to concentrate more on your list building. So if you start getting um, some freebies out there, you can direct people to your group. Um, if you are maybe doing lives, you can direct people to your group. If you're in other groups networking, direct people to your group. And that's really how I've grown my group organically. I've never done any adverts. I've never paid for any promotion. I've just gone onto the platforms that I know my soulmate clients are, and I tell everybody that they should come to my group. Um, and that's how I've grown it, just by word of mouth and by providing valuable content. Um, so, Anna, spot on. Great way of explaining difference. Oh, good. Yeah, because you know what? People just would get bombarded by all of these platforms and everything that is available to us that we think that we need to use them all um, and then you're like well what do I post there what do I post there and that's not the case you just use the platforms that you know are going to be useful for you and where your soulmate clients hang out if you don't want a page don't have a page if you do just use it and post it every now and again so that you've got some element of visibility because for me if i'm looking for a brand or if i'm looking for a product one of the first places i go to google and then the second place i go to is facebook to see if they've got a facebook page so if you've got a facebook page and it's quite up to date and you're just posting information um then you've got that element of visibility and they can see that your brand is on trend and your brand is up to date and current. Um, and then obviously if you're posting on there, then people can come to your group if you advertise and you group on there as well. So it works both ways and it really depends on your business, whether or not you need a group. Um, I'm a massive advocate for a group because I know how powerful it is for my business, but you might not need it for you. And then you can then concentrate on the platforms that are really good for your group. Um, yeah, so Nicholas says go in like minded places and just do old fashioned networking. Um, so, yeah, so think about Ruth, who your soulmate client is, where they hang out, where you can find them, and then just go. And I've said this the other day just go into the groups and network, answer their questions. So, if they've got questions, answer them. So, they get to know you, show up in that group all the time. So, I maybe choose about two or three groups that I show up in all the time. Um, and I just get known in those groups because I'm there constantly answering questions, posting in them, um, and just show up frequently in those groups and just let people know I'm there. And then you can then open that channel up of being able to say, Actually, I've got a group, not promote your stuff because group members don't like that but if somebody asks you then just say yeah i've got this group you can search for it here or you can message me if you choose don't just message them direct and say look i've got this group because that's just i hate that um but yeah you you open it that that channel of communication and starting to build those relationships um thanks natalie i'm pleased that you find it useful um yeah so nicola's got some good advice have yeah, you know, just think about who your soulmate client is. And if you don't know who that is, then obviously I've got that content in the group, in the VIP club. So go back over it again. You know, sometimes it needs revisiting. Um, and then once you know who your soulmate client is, and one of the VIP members said this this morning, it's just so um, powerful when you when you do get that when you know who your soulmate client is because everything else just falls into place so if you don't know who that is um, and it's something that's interesting you then i do have a whole bundle on finding your soulmate client in my vip club which is open until next friday so it's not too late for you to jump on board that you can i'll pop the link in the comments here so i hope that helps so that's the difference my opinion between a Facebook page and a group um, any questions any comments then obviously and if you're watching the replay then come back um, and say so um, in here so 
I'll see you later and have a good day.